March 8, 2016. This dog has been transferred from the house for, for the complaint of pus in the vagina yesterday. And uh, you can see the dog is very weak. Uh, the pus is coming up now. In fact, you can see a lot. Just now we couldn't see. So you can see definitely this open pyometra. And the dog is very weak, dehydrated. They have taken the blood sample for testing. I've given B3 plus Spasmo G6. One thing about this one is painkiller. And uh, suddenly there's a profuse blood discharge coming out now. So we will run the Hartman plus dextrosaline plus multivitamins and amino acids later and uh, stabilize the dog and uh, it the owner does not want one surgery normally I recommend about one day or two days of drip and uh, after that open up to remove the uterus and and uh, ovaries but this dog is 11 years old and so the owner is very worried that she may die, she may die on the op operating table. So presently, her decision is just to treat with antibiotics and IV drip and not to operate. So I will send the dog home later and give her the antibiotics. This is a case of open palmetra. Open palmetra means the cervix is open and the pus can be discharged compared to closed pyometra in closed pyometra the pus remains inside and is more toxic to the dog now the, the best prevention is to spay your dog when she's young and uh, she won't get into this uh, situation and also there are breast tumors as well Normally, when you spay the dog, there isn't any breast tumor in most cases. Now, this one is a breast nodule on the right memory gland number 5. And this is the breast nodule on memory gland number 4 on the left. So, these are the warts <coughs> due to OH, the skin warts. The warts are here. They're not so serious. So the, the seriousness is this vaginal discharge here because there's an infection of bacteria causing this, uh, this discharge and, uh, and uh, the only solution is actually to, to spay the dog, take out the ovaries and uterus or by your vets March 82016 Wednesday Singapore open Pametra in an 11 o Shih Tzu not spayed the treatment will be to spay the dog after two days of IV drips and uh, The risk is very high because the dog is very old and uh, so it's up to the owner to take the risk. If the owner doesn't want to take the risk, we just continue with antibiotics and uh, hopefully that the discharge will, will go off after antibiotics. But you will recover again at the next hit four to five months later.